All right, Yael. What's up, man? Um, you from Yompton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of people. Know. Now, everyone's heard of Compton. For sure. Everyone's heard of Bompton. For sure. I don't think a lot of people heard of Yompton. Man, that's a very unique name. <laughs> <laughs> break, that, break the history of that down. Well, that stems from um, one of our homeboys, rest in peace. He created the name Ya. And then it was like a call because everybody else in the city, they had calls like you have dudes across the street from us, the uh, nutties, they had all, you know, other neighborhoods had their own distinctive call to, you know, alert their homies. And, you know, we was just, he himself, the creator of it, he just came up with Yah and it just it stuck with it. So then we started attaching Yah to our lingo. So they're like, what's up, Yonkton? So we from Compton. We're from the projects in Compton, the only ones in Compton. So you combine the two, you get Yonkton. So that's credited to one of my homeboys by the name of, I think, I want to say Jig. Jig and another cat. But, um, yeah, man, that, that term, that term just stemmed from, you know, our lingo, you know. And that goes back to uh, before you got put on, right? No, nah, I was I was I was around. Oh, you was around. When Yonkton came about. Yeah, I was. I'm I'm Yonkton. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm a part of that generation. Okay, you know I mean? I'm a part of that. Now, so I guess some some really OGs they haven't really tapped in with the Yonkton then, right? Uh, you got a few. Yeah, you got a few that's still in the crowd. You know, they they still they function. You know what I'm saying? So, where were you born and raised at, man? Compton, California. Okay, Yonkton to be exact. Yeah. On the um. On the west side, like growing up in in the women's and orange wasn't a normal project. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a it was like we had it was like its own world, and you know it was things that transitioned throughout the year span. So where it was like, hey, you know what? We need some armed guards to to maintain to maintain this building. These dudes is turned up in here. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the armed guards come from. You know. Well, I was thinking though that with those armed guards in the front, and it's kind of hard to get in there. To a certain degree, you're protected from the rivals and from the enemies when you're in the Wilmington Arms. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, niggas make attempts. Niggas try. You feel me? It's it's been situations within the community. You know, it's it's been things that happen. But know, it so. looks like a very difficult place at, for an outsider that's from Compton, that's not from the Arms, to go up in there and try to do their thing. It it could it could be made. You you you're gonna face some challenges. Yeah. You're gonna face some challenges, you know, and not even because of the guards, just because of some of the individuals that, you know, be there, you know, standing on whatever they stand on, they you know they're gonna protect where they stand at, you know what I'm saying? So now nah, you're not gonna have too many success stories coming being the opposition coming over there saying, Oh yeah, we got us one. Nah. Now, when you come into the arms, the, uh, the entrance that I'm talking about would be facing north. Um, is there another exit or entrance into the arms other than that north entrance? One way in, one way out. Woo! <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. I'm Good sure luck. probably you got to jump a wall or something or climb man, something. Good luck, man. <laughs> you know, good luck. So what, t take me back to the early days of um, you being a kid living over there. What was it like? I was young. I was real young. Um, Prior to moving into the women's norms, my family, we lived uh, on the east side where it was Paru's at predominantly. And then my parents had me and a few of my older siblings, and we moved into the women's norms later on. So I spent some years there, moved out of there, went back to the east side of Compton, lived over there for a little while, and then made my way back to the west side of Compton. But growing up in there, man, it was it was... It was wild. <laughs> I can recall a story where, you know, we was upstairs hanging out. My um, my parents were out in the kitchen or whatever, and they was shooting, and a bullet landed right on my bed. Yeah, it was crazy, man. It was, <laughs> and my parents were like, man, he, he cannot be going outside like that. You know, they didn't want me going outside like that. You know, mom's real protective over me. Parents was real protective over their young, at, you know, living in there at that time. So, so during that, during those years, you had both your mom and dad. Yeah. And did they uh, stay together your whole uh, yeah. childhood? Yeah. How many siblings? I have twelve. Twelve. Yeah. All from the same two parents. Well, I have a sister. She's older. You know, she has her own father. But my dad stepped up and became a father figure to her also. Okay. So, 
but they're all my brothers and sisters. All of us are, you know, we're one, you know, we're one. Did, a, did all y'all ever live under the same roof at the same time? I do recall, yeah, yeah. There, was, there were times we all lived together, a few times, you know. Situations in life happened where my sisters moved out, had their own thing going on, but then came back home. But it wasn't a lot. So everyone's from Compton? Yeah, all my family from Compton. And uh, of all your siblings, did any of them also, we didn't, we didn't get to this part yet, but did they also get involved with Park Village? No. You're the only one? As of now, yes. Okay. Yes. So, I, have a, I have a little brother. He used to be out there, but he's a family man. He's very focused on his family. He's doing real good, um, and he's taking care of his family. Okay. So what elementary school did you go to? I went to Mayo, and I went to, I want to call it, it's, I, I, at the time it was called Wilson Rouse. I went to Mayo Elementary and Wilson Rouse growing up. And during those elementary years, I'm assuming the Park Village street stuff was not a thought? Mm -mm. Nah, man, I was a kid, man, you know, just a little hard head, you know, growing up in the house with so many women, and uh, you know my dad being around. But him working, I'm still a kid, you know? I'm still trying to find myself as being, you know? So I'm hanging with the hard heads, you know? I'm hanging with the knuckleheads at school. Like, I was always getting into fights. That was something that my parents were like, man, you always fighting, you know? But, um, nah, it wasn't even a thought. Okay. That wasn't a thought. So you started getting into fights uh, young, elementary or middle elementary. school? <laughs> At Mayo Elementary, yeah, it was elementary. So then what, uh, what middle school did you end up going to after elementary? I ended up going to Whaley. Whaley, on the east side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up going to Whaley and Walton with middle school. Walton is back on the west. On the west side, yeah. Like I said, I spent yeah. both times on, I, I, I maneuvered from the east to the west growing up. My, my uh, childhood was on the east and the west. So but predominantly on the west now. So at Walton, was there a lot of Nutty Block kids going there? Man, it was hell yeah! It, it was nutties. It was it was Nutty Blocks. It was a few occasions, maybe a few school towns, a few uh, like some park villages for show. Um, what else was up there? Uh, and of course the you know Hispanic kids. Yeah, he had a few up in there. You know. So by the time you get to middle school, are you starting to affiliate yourself? Yeah. When I moved back to the west side of Compton. So I go to Watson. My first day of school, walking through the campus, I get banged on. <laughs> it was turned up. You know what I'm saying? It was turned. Like I'm walking the campus, got my backpack on. I'm walk I see a dude approach me. Hey, homie, where you from? I'm like, shit, nowhere. <laughs> he like, nigga, this point. I'm like, oh shit, like, damn, like this, this is crazy. So I'm like, damn, because I knew every, I knew, I knew dudes on the on the east side going to Whaley. But me being a new face, you know, all the kids, re, you know, reoccurring, seeing each other throughout the year, they like, man, who is this dude? Like, probably that's what his, that's what his mindset was, because I'm a new face. But I, you know, I adapt quickly, you know. So throughout the year, throughout the school year, I ended up meeting a few cats from the Women's Norms. And one of the cats, he was just, he was real cool. He used to call him Chewy growing up. That's my, one of the homies that I still communicate to this day with. But he was real embracive, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have lunch money one day, and I'm like, damn, man, I'm hungry. And bro basically was like, hey, you ain't got no lunch money? I got you. You know what I'm saying? And he looked out for me and bought me lunch, and I was like, oh, good looking. And from there, we built a friendship, and it kind of just kept going from there, you know? And I ended up finding a home away from home. Like, I was out the hood, out the projects. Then I found myself being back attached to the projects, you feel me? So it was like just... Basically reconnecting back to where I lived and, you know, a lot of my roots come from. 